Hi, Dominica here from EasySewingForBeginners.com. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a quick and easy grocery bag holder. I'll be using a tea towel to make this project and a few other bits and bobs from around the place. So it'll be perfect for any beginning sewer. And it'll probably take you about 10 to 15 minutes to do once you know what you're doing. Okay, let's get going. So for this sewing project, you will need a tea towel, whether that be an old one or a new one. You'll need ribbon. I have about 25 inches or about half a metre here. You'll need a lighter to seal the ends of your ribbon. You'll need your sewing machine thread. You will need a piece of elastic. Mine's about 11 inches, but it will differ depending on the size of your tea towel. Uh, I have a safety pin, a pair of scissors, and some pins or some clips. And you will also need your sewing machine, although this project can be done by hand if you want. Okay, so for the first step, you need to grab your tea towel and we're going to unfold it so you have the wrong side of the tea towel facing you. Now, we're going to take the short ends and we're going to fold them both over and stitch them down to create little channels for the ribbon on one end and the elastic on the other end to go through eventually. Okay, so you need to fold it over and make sure it's big enough for you to be able to thread your elastic or your ribbon through. So just get your ribbon or your, your elastic and use that as a guide. Okay, so I've got enough space for my ribbon to go in and I'm going to try and sew my um, stitch line on the existing stitch line on the top here. Okay, so that looks about fine. So using some pins or some clips, just clip those down until you make it over to the sewing machine to sew it down and you need to repeat this on the other end as well using the elastic as a guide. Okay so now that I have both short ends folded over I'm ready to take this over to the sewing machine and stitch them down. Okay so my sewing machine's all ready to go and I have it set to a straight stitch at a 2.4 stitch length. I've got my white thread in my machine and we are ready to stitch. Okay, so now I've finished sewing the short edges over and I've clipped the little thread tails that were left there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put these long edges together and sew those ones. So I'm going to flip my tea towel over so we have our right sides of the tea towel together and place the edges together like so. All right, and we're going to be sewing from one end from where the folded over edge is on this end to the other folded over edge on the other end there. Now you need to make sure you don't fold over, I mean, sorry, make sure you don't sew over your little tunnels that you've created there or else you won't be able to get your ribbon or your elastic through, okay? So I'm going to clip these together and then head over to the sewing machine to sew them together. All right, so now I've finished sewing the long edges together. So now we're going to turn the whole thing right side out. Okay. And my ribbon and my elastic were about the similar width, so it doesn't matter which end I put mine in, but you might need to remember which end you need to put your elastic and your ribbon in. I'm gonna do my ribbon first. So what you'll need to do is just um, heat the ends of the ribbon just to melt it and that will stop them from fraying. Okay and you need to grab a safety pin or a bobkin or I think that's what they're called. This one's a old nappy pin that I have. I find these are good because they don't come undone while you're trying to thread whatever you're threading through. Okay, now in one of your little tunnels, I suppose, you need to thread your ribbon through that. OK, 
Okay, we can take that off now. And once you've got your ends together, you can just simply tie a knot in the end there. Okay, so there we have it. We've got the top bit, good to go. So now we just need to do the elastic at the bottom. So the same thing, thread your elastic through the little tunnel, put it onto the safety pin first, and off we go. Okay, so at this point you can either sew your ribbon ends together. I'm just going to knot them and tuck them away. So you need to make sure you leave a hole big enough at the bottom to grab your grocery bags out of. Okay, once you're happy with the size of it, then simply tie your two ends together. So tie a knot and just snip off your excess elastic. Okay, and then if you want, you can hide that little knot away in there, if you can get it in. Okay, or you can just tuck it under. I'll fix that up later. Okay, so there you have it. We have a grocery bag holder. Don't forget to check out their Easy Sewing for Beginners shop at www.easysewingforbeginners.com and click on the blue button at the top of the website to find all of my free Easy Sewing projects and how-to PDFs for download. If you'd like to say a little thank you by purchasing a $1 thank you edition of any of the PDFs then that would be greatly appreciated as well. You'll also find the blue button at the top of the page on mobile devices as well. So don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you like this video, leave a comment down below and if you want more easy sewing projects and how to videos then hit the big red subscribe button right there on your screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Happy sewing!